dice whatsapp has launched the existing whatsapp in india this means that now whatever your existing number is on your whatsapp business app you can use that same number on meta's cloud api as well you don't need to keep a separate number if you want to use the api to send whatsapp messages that is if you want to send marketing messages in bulk to a lot of people or if you want to send otp messages utility messages transactional messages or alerts whatsapp will give you the api for all of these directly and you will get it on the same number that you are using on the mobile app so whenever you want to send bulk whatsapp messages you'll use whatsapp's cloud api and whenever you want to chat one on one you can do it from your mobile app and whenever you send a message from your mobile app it will always be free just like it is now so if you want to onboard your existing whatsapp number to meta cloud api the benefit you will get is that you will have access to the template messages api so you can send otps from the same number as well you can send alerts to your customers send marketing messages so you can send all of this directly from the website when the user receives the message it will come from your same number and chats will also keep appearing in your mobile app showing which messages have been sent to which users from your mobile app and whenever you send any message from your mobile app to that same number you won't have any issue with templates you can send any message from your mobile app to that number and all those messages will remain free so whenever any user responds you can see their response in your mobile app just like you do now and you will also be able to see those responses in fast to sms and this existing feature can be disconnected at any time so whenever you disconnect the template messages api from fast to sms will be deactivated but everything on your mobile app will keep working as usual if tomorrow you feel like switching from fast to sms to another provider you can onboard the same number with any other vendor and then that new vendor will provide all your templates and apis and if you are currently using another vendor and want to switch to fast to sms you just need to go to your mobile app and disconnect from the current vendor then complete the onboarding process in fast to sms and connect your number there then you will get the fast to sms api panel access and be able to send template based messages and this is completely official and legal there's never any risk of your number getting banned because all these services are provided directly by whatsapp so now what can you do if you have the whatsapp business app you can keep using it just like you always have and if you are also using regular whatsapp you can keep using that as well now you can create a third connection for whatsapp called whatsapp existence through which you will get api access and panel access to send whatsapp messages in bulk so now let's understand how you can do this to do this you will need to onboard in fast to access so first of all you need to go to first to sms.com here you can create a free account you have to create that free account and verify it with otp as soon as you log into fast to sms you will see an option to log in with facebook Logging in with Facebook is required because you can't directly connect your WhatsApp number to Fast to SMS. You'll first need to connect it through Facebook and then that access comes to us to Fast to SMS. So as soon as you logged in with Facebook, you'll now see the option here to connect your existing WhatsApp business app. Now you can connect your existing WhatsApp business app or if you want, you can also create a new WhatsApp number that you only want to use in the API. So any messages that are sent or received the entire history will be maintained both on your mobile app and in fast to sms as well but if you have added a new whatsapp number then that number will only be managed through fast to sms you won't be able to use that number in your mobile app so now let's understand how to complete this entire process and how you can connect your existing whatsapp business number to fast to sms so first of all create an account on fast to sms after logging in you'll see a panel like this in this panel you'll have your wallet system here where you can add any amount starting from 100 rupees there is no limit here that you have to add a minimum amount whatever amount you add the cost per sms will be deducted by fast to sms from that amount now you need to go to the whatsapp business menu click on it there is no monthly cost here no setup cost Whenever you send a message through fast to SMS, 
only then will the money for that message be deducted from your wallet and that to on delivery that means if your message fails or the number is not on whatsapp you will automatically get a refund for that within 48 hours so what happens here is whenever you create a template for whatsapp there are three categories one is authentication one is utility and one is marketing so whenever you create a template whatsapp itself tells you which category you need to make the template in all your otp templates will go under authentication in utility all transactional messages will go like order successful order delivered and whenever you create a marketing template it will go under the marketing category so whenever you send these messages you will be charged per message in this way the money will be debited from the fast to sms wallet you don't have to go anywhere else once you complete the onboarding here whatever your wallet balance is the money will keep getting deducted from that same wallet balance and you don't have to pay any monthly charge or setup cost suppose you've connected your number but you are not sending any messages many vendors keep charging you every month but here there's no such charge you'll only be charged when you send a message if you don't send messages you won't be charged anything keep this in mind after logging in with facebook if you are creating a fresh account if you bring a new facebook account or a personal facebook account don't use that because meta can block or blacklist it so my suggestion is whenever you log in with facebook use any of your old facebook accounts because that facebook account is necessary for logging in after logging in your company profile is created in that company profile you link either a new whatsapp number or an old whatsapp number now we have to click on login with facebook as soon as we click on it when your personal account logs in your name and all details will appear here you just need to continue after continuing it will say similarly connect an account to fast to sms so we are going to add our number in fast to sms we have to click on continue again now your business portfolio will be created see a business portfolio is basically your company's registration inside a business suite within your personal facebook account so if you already have a business portfolio you can use that here one thing you always need to keep in mind is that you must have a working website if your website is not working meta can ban or suspend your entire account so don't complete this process until your website is ready first complete your website put your logo name and all details on it so that when meta goes to review it manually your website is working and whatever your working website's name is you can use that same name as your business name if you don't have a business portfolio there will be an option here to create a new business portfolio so here i created a new business portfolio named fast sms and gave fastsums.com here after this i'll click next now i have two options either i use my existing whatsapp business app that i am already running if i want to use that same number for otp or transactional messages i can link it simply go to your mobile app a qr code will appear and you scan it just like opening a session on web whatsapp a new session will open link with fast to sms this is a business platform session after that you'll use that same number on your mobile app web whatsapp and it will be linked in fast to sms if you want to use a new number and complete the onboarding process with it so your company's name gets approved and all messages go out in your company's name then go to start with new whatsapp number but if you want your name not to show right now but all messages to go from your mobile number then you can to the existing whatsapp business app WhatsApp is about to introduce a new feature through Meta Verify which will come to your business app. When you start paying for Meta Verify, your messages will start going out with your name. But if you want to get your name approved for free and don't want to pay monthly fee, then get a new number complete with that new number. For this demo, we'll use Connect existing WhatsApp business app here, click next. Enter your active mobile number. I'll select India and enter that number then click next. An OTP will be sent. As soon as I verify the OTP, my business name will automatically appear the same name I've set on my WhatsApp business app. Then select the time zone. If it doesn't show up, select it here then click next. 
As soon as you click next, it will show connecting your account. Now, it will display these details, review them and click continue. You'll get a QR code and a message on your WhatsApp from Facebook asking you to click there and scan this QR code. You'll get a message like this from Facebook business with a button below saying scan QR dot. The QR code you see here is the one you need to scan. When you click scan QR, you'll get the option connect your business platform. Scan the QR to connect to the business. There will be a button below connect the business platform. When you click this, you'll get the option asking if you want to share your chat history. If you do, select share all chat history, which will show all previous chats on our platform. But if you only want to show chats created from today onwards and not old ones, click the option below and confirm. Once confirmed, you'll see the option to scan the QR. This will take about 45 seconds and you'll see the option appear here that your account is connected to fast to SMS. It will show you are connected to fast to SMS in your mobile app. Just click OK. Now your account is connected to fast to SMS. Now, whether you use this account on the business platform, on fast to SMS or on WhatsApp, all three will stay in sync. No matter where you send a message from, you'll see those messages on all three platforms, both sent and received. Currently, your daily message limit is 250, but this will gradually increase. If you want to increase your limit, contact the fast to SMS team. They will help you and submit your documents to Meta. Once your documents are verified, then your limit will be increased by the company. Here, you need to click on finish. Until you click this finish button, your account will not be linked. So, if you close this browser without clicking finish, your account will not be linked. Then, you'll have to complete the entire embedded signup process again, click on login with Facebook and go through the whole process once more. Only then will your number be linked again in fast to SMS. As soon as you click on finish, your account will be linked to fast to SMS. Guys, once the process is complete, your number will be linked in fast to SMS. When you click on select number, your number will start showing here. You need to go to WhatsApp manager where your number will be visible. Your display name will appear. Your statuses will show up and you will see what your quality rating is. In the templates section, we create three templates for you by default so you can use them for testing. There are three different categories here, marketing, utility and authentication. Within these, you can get templates approved. WhatsApp says that whenever you send a message from your mobile app, it doesn't cost anything. You can send anything without any approval. But whenever you send a message from fast to SMS, you first need to get a template approved, get the message text approved. Once that's approved, you can send that particular text from the panel or via API. If you want to create more templates, there's a button here called add template. If you click on it, you can create additional templates in marketing, utility and authentication. Authentication only involves OTPs. In utility, all transactional messages except OTPs are intuited. In marketing, any promotional message can be sent. Here, by default, we provide three templates you can use. When you click select number, your number will be selected. To send a message from the panel, enter the number here and as soon as you click the message box, a pop-up will appear. All your approved templates will be visible. Click the template and you will only be asked for the variables value. Whatever variable value you provide will be inserted into the message. When you press send, a pop-up will appear and the message will be sent. Now, if you need the API for this process, it's provided as WhatsApp API dot. Click on it. As soon as you click, your API authorization will appear. Below that, there's a button labeled click here. Click click here and an Excel file will be downloaded. All your approved templates will be included. For WhatsApp, we have created APIs for all your approved templates which you can directly integrate into your mobile app or website. When you download the Excel file, each template will have a unique ID provided, which you need to use in the API call. After that, specify your number, the message category, and how many variables are in it, because in the API, we will only take variable values from you. The rest of your static approved message will be automatically generated and sent to Facebook. 
If you scroll here, you will see an API has been created for each message. For example, let's look at the second one, the OTD API. Here you insert your API key and the message ID will be automatically fetched for that template. In the mobile number field, enter a 10 digit mobile number and in the variable value field, send whatever OTP value you want. Now, for example, if I want to send a message with the OTP value 1111, I'll copy this link. And if you look to the right, you'll also see the message that has been approved. According to that message, you'll get the API here. I'm copying this URL. I paste it into the browser. First, I enter the API key. Here's my API key, I copy and paste it. My API key is now in place. I don't need to change the message ID, it's for that template. Now, I'll write the number to send the message to. Suppose I want to send it to this number. In the variable value field, I'll write the OTP value. As soon as I enter this and hit enter, it will show WhatsApp message sent successfully. If I check the delivery report, I'll see this message and its status. Clicking here, you see the message sent to this number. This number isn't registered on WhatsApp, hence the error, WhatsApp not available on this number. If it were a valid WhatsApp number, the message would have been delivered. This is how you create this API. After creating the API, you can integrate it into your website. Now, here's another good thing. For any messages that fail to send, you'll get a refund for all those messages within 48 hours. So, this is on delivery billing if you send messages to 100 people and only 20 get delivered and 80 messages fail, you'll get a full refund for those 80 messages back into your wallet within 48 hours. You can check this in your transactional history. Now, if you have any kind of doubt related to WhatsApp, if your onboarding isn't happening, your template is getting rejected or Meta isn't approving it, or if you want to increase your daily limit, you can talk to FastSumsys chat support or email us. Our team will connect with you and solve all your problems. Now, if you feel that everything is set up and you want to add money, you need to go to add credit and there you can add whatever amount you want. The starting amount here is 100 rupees, but you can add any amount you want. And you can use that same amount in RCS as well as in bulk SMS. So, with the same amount, you get access to all three channels, whether you want to send OTPs on WhatsApp, send OTPs via bulk SMS or send OTPs through RCS, it will all be used from the same wallet. There's no restriction here that you have to buy a minimum number of messages or that there's any monthly charge if you are not using the service. There's nothing like that here. Simply create one account, get free credits, add your number, test everything out and only if you like the service, then add money. For any support, you can raise a support ticket here or you can chat with our team to get solutions to any of your problems. So, I hope you liked this video. Thank you.